Yeah. Okay, and there were no Bashamano, a ham who could net or got you poor higher. Get the coin of La Mere. Get the coin of La Mere. Sunny Dimma. Okay, now get on to on your wall, I'll be catching car on on chat or mute yourself. I don't want anybody unless if there's. You have to stay where you are going to pay attention in this class. They got neighbor Otana Nogget. So I charm made an ahun your walla. I charm going your walla more mute because Nchoro, Kunu wickedna as I him Najo. Bikun, 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 Miss. Please, 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 please. So we're going to do that, please. So try to uh, unmute, try to uh, unblock your video because I want to see everybody. All right. Um, let's see. I know some people sent me a test. If I can touch base on the pronouns. And so we're going to do the vowel harmony pronoun and the verb agreement. Because some people, they, they want to know. And then the conjugation as well. Um, so we're going to touch base on that. But I want everybody. I want to see everybody. So I don't want anybody blocking anything please guys okay so let me share a screen with you guys this one i was typing it okay so let's see all right so going to do this now Um, before we, before we do that, let me just go back first and see everybody. Okay. Um, Chioma, Chioma, can you hear me? I do I don't know. Um, I'm doing my homework today. Okay, what are you doing? Um, Anna, my me. Anna, my mom, I'll go. Anna, I'll go. Anna, I'm I'll go. Anna, Anu, I'll go. Amu, Amu. Anna, Amu, I'll go. Anna, Amu, I'll go. Uh huh. Okay, Chuku Emeka. Kadonya ne kuo kwe ba. Chuku Emeka. Chuku Emeka na magwago. Oh yeah. Yeah, Chuku Emeka you. I'm looking at you. You see your name not Chuku Emeka. Yeah, it is. It is. Uh huh. Kadonya ne kuo kwe ba. Hmm. Me. Chuku Emeka. I'm, I'm, am I speaking Igbo? Am I speaking English? Speak Igbo okay. to me. Kedonye ne kuoku. Mm. Ah mo. He wanted to say it's you. Mm. Uh huh. Ah mo. Ah mo. Uh huh. That's all. Ah mo ne kuoku. I want you to make a complete sentence. Ah mo ne kuoku. Uh huh. Dalo. Ah kelechi. I told everybody to unblock. And I don't know why some people are still blocking themselves. Kelechi, uh, baby, that's Kelechi or higher. Kelechi, Kedebe, Eno. Anona, Ugo. Anona, Olo, okay. Chinelo. Ah, uh, Chinelo. Ginena, Togamo. Can you repeat that? Ginena, Togi, Amo. What am I doing? No. I said, what, what's making you laugh? Uh -huh. making you I'm smile? just smiling. <laughs> uh-huh. So you tell me that I'm not laughing or I'm not smiling. You know how to say it in Igbo? Anagim achi ochi. Anagim achi ochi. Achochi. Anagim achi ochi. Anagem achi ochi. Yeah. Some people say anagema amu amu. 
It depends on how you people say it. Anagema amuamo, or you can say anagema achiochi. So can you say anagem amuamo? Anagem amuamo. Okay, now tell me, I am laughing. At least you know how to say I am and I'm not. Okay. So we did anagema achiochi. I want you to say that I am laughing. I'm a, I'm a, um, I told you. Yeah, Anna Machi Ochi. Uh, if um, on your catch on your don't you get your own nazo? I want on your own nazo go on your boy. Oh, papa. Oh, papa. Oh, say papa. And they will. Uh huh. One of papa. Young Kuruno. Daddy. I would daddy. I like to shop by a daddy or win high food. I have papa. And they will. I Papa, this one There you go. There you go. Ah, uh, if any, if any, if you are going to go on your own, find your own way. Ah, good. I'm going to go on your own. Ah, give me my plan. Come on, if any, you can do it. Just try something. Give me my plan. Ah. I wear him mega new look. Aha, dal oh jishike. Jishike o. Ah chidera o hieri. Kada be no chidera gine ki neme. Chidera gine ki mega. Ah no, oh no. Oh no, yeah. Ne me ka no gine ki neme no no gine ki neme gwa mi hine neme. A chara me ma hine neme. Ine me ge. Ana mame a Ponta Ibo school. Eh na eh na mo akuko asusi Ibo. Asusi asusi. Asusi Ibo. Yeah asusi means language yes. Okay dal nde wo. Um, let me see the person I'm going to catch. Now Anastasia. Anastasia nde beno. Anastasia. Could there be an assistant? Huh? You have to unmute yourself for us to hear you because you're muted. No, I yeah. I still cannot hear you. You keep on muting yourself. Ah, uh, chine meram. Ele to aku ko shi gwa naga. Ona go for my talo. Ah, ele to shi gwa na go Kenya. Eh? Kedi ki shi gwa aku ko nya. I got the moon no kurumaka where he was all questioning me. Manan manga, I forgot. Get a key, my gapan. Get a key, mer, eat your gagapo. And merma, other madam, I can. Oh, son, don't, 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 in a two ball. Umba, and where he had quadram, umda. Oga, oh, get a can up, bunny, and him, and I am Miriocha. Oh, sorry, I hope you didn't. Break any bone? Mm. Okay, no. No, I'm going to go to the chin and 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 the chin um, Kelechi, unblock your video. Me pay on your new. Uh, Amarachi, Ugu Ebulam. Uh, Amarachi. Hmm? Gonna get an angle. Amarachi, an angle, and get it. Me. I told me who you get. Me pay on your new. Gana man, who you gana. I can't. I don't have any privacy. 
Okay, I'm going to say that you are with others or where you are, I cannot share. It's so bad. It's so bad. Um, and that you should know that. And that he never met her. Can you can him? Can you can him? I'm talking to Amarachi. I know me, me, Ibo class. I'm not okay. Ibo class. Remember when you're writing class, you have to write it in Ibo way. Okay. All right. Adanze. No. E potalata. Adenze ze monye. Oh, adeze, sorry. Adeze nde wo e potalata. Me? Asum de wo. When I say nde wo, what do you say back to me? Nde wo. E potalata. Eh. There's something. Why you have one no kuno? Get a key name, Adez. Anna Ibo class. Okay. Can they hear me to put a baby class? How do you say I am learning? I am learning. Anna, I'm with you. Anna, I'm with you. Anna, I'm with you. If you're reading a book, you say, Anna, I'm with you. If you're learning so studying, Anam Amu in here. Anam Amu in here. In here means something. I am read. I am, you know, I'm studying or I'm reading something. Anam Agu in here. Anam Agu in here. Anam Agu in here. Anam Agu in here. If you're studying your book, Anam Amu Agu Po. Anam Amu Agu Po. Anam Amu Agu Po. Anam Anu Akuko. Okay. Um Pascal Uchihara. Kadebena. Pascal Uchihara Kadebena. I don't think Pascal is in this class. Um I will take you out if you are in this class and you are doing something else. So it means you are not here to listen. So since Pascal is not here, I'm going to remove you, Pascal. If you're here, you need to talk. You can't just come and then join the class, but you are not paying attention. You are not learning, and your parents will think that you're learning. So Pascal, if you're here, you need to respond back to me. I'm driving. You're driving? I'm coming back home, yes. OK, um, all right, basketball. so pay attention. Uh, uh, just don't, I uh, want you to focus on your driving, okay? Okay. All right. I'm glad you told me. All right. Okay. So now we're going to do a little bit of touching base on the vowel harmony, pronoun, and verb agreement. So I need you to pay attention because some people, they keep on asking questions. Some people sent a text message uh, that they would like uh, me to go over a little bit. So let's just do vowel harmony, pronoun, and verb agreement. You know, uh, when it comes to the uh, vowel harmony, it's just like a set of rules, you know, that you need to follow uh, to match the vowels in verb. And I remember we did something like this before. And then when you, when you talk about like matching these vowels in verb with their proper pronoun forms, because if you are not using the proper pronoun, then it's not going to, it's not going to add up at all. So usually, usually, only the dependent, the dependent singular, the subject pronouns, such as like, m, mm, e, o, you see those words. So, m, mm, the subject pronouns like, m, mm, e, e, o, o those things and then are impacted if you don't observe them 
there, remember when I tell you, if you do not punctuate correctly, then it will be hard to know maybe the word that you're trying to tell us, what you're trying to say. And then there's no harmony there. That's basically what we're talking about here. Okay, so if you do not observe those things, then they will be impacted by the, by the vowels, by the, the harmony, verbs, and then the stems, so all these things. You have to follow the rules. So follow the rules in order to get it the correct way, in order to write your word, and then you can defend it to say, okay, I am sure this is the sound that I'm trying to make. Now, the subject pronouns is talking, it's just referring to pronouns that uh, uh, act as subjects and not as objects. The subject pronouns refers to the pronouns that act as subjects, not as objects. And the single, uh, okay, when you're talking about it, like the single subject pronouns, the single subject pronouns that I'm talking about here are something like a, like I, you, she, he, it. The vowels in this subject, okay? The vowel in this subject pronouns must harmonize. It must harmonize with the vowels. At the end of the stem verbs, they correspond to. It has to harmonize. And for example, the example of what I'm talking about is when you say something like bia, when you say something like bia, we're going to conjugate the letter. If you say now, bia, okay? And do you know bia? Now, let me highlight, okay, let me, I have to maximize this, sorry about that. Too small. I hope everybody can see it very well now. Okay. So, Auntie. Yeah. My phone is about to die, so I'm going to restart it and join back the, cl the class. So bad. I'll add you to the class. Okay. So, so the beer is I and A. Uh, you need to join fast so that it don't miss much. So this beer is one of the examples. And that is the verb. I want you to know that is the, that is the verb here. The verb beer, okay, come. We all know it means come, okay? It means come. And then... Use the egg in a group. You can tell this IA is in a group. We did vowels before, and you know what I'm talking about. It's in a group. And this A group vowel harmonization. Okay, so this is a group vowel harmonization because of the A ah and the A. So this will tell you that this A is supposed to be punctuated. It's not just going to be A, it's going to be A. I, I hope you're paying attention, but please make a note. If we, I, I'm trying to slow down so that you will understand it very well. But if you are confused, please make a note so that mm -hmm. when time comes, no question now, when time comes, you ask me the question. Okay, so this is supposed to be A, let me look for it. Okay. So it has to have dot up and down. And you know we got it from the A group of vowels. Okay, so it has to harmonize. Okay, uh, so you use A mm -hmm. for the second person. Okay, you use the A, this A for second person. Ibiara, Chukwemeka, Eno Eba. Is that you? Is it you? You know, something like that. Oh, Nana, you know, so it's something like that. So you use a biara, a noya. You see that? Ogi. So, but we are talking about that a for the second person singular. Okay, the second person singular. 
O, the O, okay, the O. The second person, for the second person singular, use that O. Either you say E, E biara, you came. O biara, she came. You see that? E biara, O biara. For third person singular, pay attention. Use the E for the second person singular. Or you use O for third person singular. Okay. I don't know if I need to be writing everything, but I want to make sure that you really um, comprehend it. I just want to, but let me just write it. If I keep writing and we might be missing some time, but it's okay. Um, just want to make sure that everybody's following. All right. Oh, come on. Okay, so we say here the verb be come. Okay. So this is basically is going to harmonize. Okay, so you use something like you use um say this you now let me use this one. So use something um use a group. Okay, vowel, and you know that's where we have them. All the dotted ones are in all a group. Harmonization. Okay, because of the A and the A, because of the A, A and the A. All right. Okay, there you go. Because of A uh, and the A. Okay, so that's why we use that, okay. Now you use um so right now you're going to use the a use a which is uh in capital letter this is how you write it it has to have be capital with a dot underneath okay Use the A, let me just do this. Okay, so use the A for the second person. So I'm going to write second this way. I hope you don't mind. Okay, use A for the second person singular. So use it for the second person singular. Then, Oh, use all. Uh, okay, so use all. Come on, get out of my way. Use all. For the, for third person. Angola. Okay, so put an ah, that ah, you put an ah in front of the verb for present continuous. And I'm saying this because I want to know, I will ask somebody a question. I want to make sure that you know exactly what I'm saying. When I say put ah in front of the verb for present continuous, future tense, and present in here. Perfect. Okay. So for first person, singular, past tense, add an a, which is a, a, before the verb. When the pronoun mm, comes after the verb. Okay. Now, let me tell you exactly what I'm trying to say here. So you say, a, for example, let me see. Anam. Uh, anam Adia. So now the mm, I'm going to highlight it, bold it. But you know the ones I'm talking about. Bold this one. So basically what I said is this. 
this is the, the point I made. I said put an a okay in front. Oh my god, my fingers to today. Front of the verb, in front of the verb. Okay, for present continuous uh, future tense uh, and the present perfect. Okay, and then for um, for first person, first person singular mm, past tense. Okay, add and ah before the verb. You don't need to you don't need to start writing this because I'll post the note, okay? So don't worry about typing it. I'm going to post the note for you. Before the verb, when the pronoun. Mm, the pronoun mm, comes after the verb. That's exactly what I said. All right. So let me bold all this. This is very important because some people they were struggling and they want to know how do I know when I will use the a? How do I know when I will use the a? So if you pay attention here, you'll be able to do that. And still ask question if you don't get it at the end. Um, okay. So put an a in front of the verb for present continuous, future tense, and present perfect. Then for first person, singular past tense, okay? Add an A, which is A. I'm not going to use A in this, house, in this class because this is intermediate. Unu kwesrema in here wo A. Okay, our the alphabet, the first letter, okay? A, before the verb, when the pronoun, mm, the possessive pronoun comes after the verb. Now the example here. Okay, uh, examples, all right. Okay, so Anam Abia. Now you should be able to get what I'm saying now. Anam Abia means I am, mm, come on, let me be bold. Everybody, please, it's very important you're paying attention. I am, I am coming, Anamabia. You know, so this is now present continuous because the assignment I'm going to give to you, you have to write this. You have to tell me if it's present uh, past tense or uh, past participle. Continuous. Okay. All right. So now you say, Ah, all right, because I'm going to, this one is I'm going to make it bold so that you see the difference. What we said, what we said up here, put an A ah in front of the verb for present continuous, future tense and present perfect, okay? Uh, that's participle. For first person singular past tense, add the past tense, add an A ah before the verb. Okay, when the pronoun mm, comes after the verb. So I'm giving you examples here. Now, ah, all right. Mm, 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 okay. Bia. So I and A, I'm going to bold it. Bia. Ra. Ram. Abia Ram
Okay. So Abhyaram. Now this one now means. Okay. I came. I came. And that's past tense. This is past tense. I want to make sure everybody's following. Is everybody following what I'm doing? Onye Kachi, are you doing something else? I want to make sure you guys are following because you need to understand it. Yeah, Onye Kachi in our church. I'm um, man, I get a bad in my after class. Onye Kachi. Ah, after I made this show, Onye Wola ne gente because this is very important. I'll give you your assignment and you have to do it. Today, you know, we are supposed to, I was supposed to get somebody to talk to you guys about culture, but I have not been able to, you know, get that appointment, but I'll let you guys know though. So, but I need you to pay attention. I know some of you speak Igbo. Yes, sometimes you miss it. You miss the sentence or maybe miss to put it the right way because you're not able to know uh, the, um, when it comes to what is involved. So I need you to pay attention to see what I'm doing. Please. Okay, so going back to my notes again. Okay, so Abiaram, I came. Okay, so when you say Abiaram, na agam abia. Ah, gam. That should be bold. Agam, abia. Ah, okay. B. And I, A. Okay. So all this I, but that's supposed to be punctuated. Agamabie. And the only way you're going to know is from what I told you. Um, knowing the group of vowel is one way. Sometimes the sound, what if that group of vowel is not there, the sound? And then if it's the group of vowel, one of them is in the beginning or the end of the world. That's another clue. Okay, so agamabia. This is um I will come. And this is future. Future tense. Okay. Oh, welcome is the future time. So I know I touched the base on this before. Um, you all should know it. But I just wanted to put this example here. E na bia. That's another one. E. Okay. Now remember Igbo A. E, you have to write the Igbo A, e, not the I, English I. E na e na bia mm. okay so e na bia the a and e are the ones that we're talking about here okay so this e you see how it's been punctuated. I'm trying to go because I'm using Microsoft Word to punctuate it. Okay. But it's easier when you write it, you take a picture of it and send because it's easier to write it and punctuate anything you want to punctuate. Uh, on the Android, we have, yes, you can install something, but computer, desktop, uh, laptop, Windows, it's not there. So that's what we're going through now until further notice. Okay. Uh, yo, enabia, enabia. You it can be a question. We did this before, and I told you it can be enabia. You can put question mark there. You can say enabia. Okay, you are coming, and not are you coming. This can mean enabia, which is are you coming, versus enabia, you are coming. So I'm going to write what I'm talking about here. You are coming. Okay. This is present continuous. You should know that's what it is. Present continuous. Okay, so I put this in here. 
so that you know we don't have to continue to do it all the time. Um, hmm. So you can do this present continuous, then you know that's what we're talking about. Okay, so when you see PC, I'm talking about present continuous, okay? All right, so this, these are ways you can say, use some things and say something. And then somebody sent me something, I think, um, um, hello, Tam. And then I responded and I posted it on the forum for all of you to see, okay? So uh, that's another thing. So we are going to conjugate a little bit so that I see how to conjugate. Um, now you can also say, Egabia, your welcome, future tense. Egabia. You can also say, Onabia, Onabia. Okay, so let's say, oh, let's use all to make a sentence now. I haven't done that one. Um, oh, Nabia. Okay, Ona Abia, Ona Abia, Ogabia, another O. Yeah, but you know this thing, it takes time. Let's see. O Ga Abia. You can put hyphen Abia. That na, Ona Abia. You can also put hyphen there. Ona Abia, E Gabia, E Nabia. You can put hyphen or you can, cannot, you, or you don't have to, doesn't matter. Or Nabia. Okay. And then that Abia. You have to punch here the I, okay? Oh, Gabia too. Okay. So this is called Nabia. Okay, she, or you can say he, or eat. Okay, so doesn't matter. So eat, okay, eat, she, he is coming. And this is present continuous. Okay, um, now all gabia, future. Making my life easier that way if I can put that chrome in there, okay? Um, Ogabia, you can also say she, okay? Okay, let's use he. He will come. He will come. Present tense. And this is future tense. So, so that's how basically how you say things if you want to do things like that. And then we have like verb nye, uh, from one of the questions that I posted there. Uh, Chelo Tam sent this word, which is great. Enwerem, enwegem, but nye, the verb, the verb nye, this is word nye, means give. It says give. I know why I'm slow this way because I want to make sure you guys are getting what I'm saying. The verb means give. Then you use eh. You use eh. I don't have to be typing everything. You use eh because if you look at that in you can tell that it's from the uh, uh, vowel group of e. Okay, the group of e vowels because there's no such a thing as a or a here. So you should know how to use this word, how to conjugate it, okay? I am giving. So you should be able to know. Okay, uh, for example, I am, okay, one, one moment. Jot your question down, okay? 
I just want to get it done because we are running out of time. Anam, okay. Anam, we can separate it. Uh -huh. You can also separate Anam. Anam, enye. See that? It means I am given. You can say. Eh, nye. Enye rem. Okay. Enye rem. I gave. I gave. See that? It's, you know, I gave. Future, I gave. Enye rem. Past tense. I gave. It's past tense. I am giving. Present continuous. I will give. Official tense. Okay. Um, Enyerem, I gave. Agam enye. See? Agam, because some people are like, how do I know when to use a and e? It's simple. Okay. Agam enye. Agam enye. I will give. I will give. This is future tense. And this is past tense. And this is, uh, make sure you know what I'm putting here, please. Present continuous. Okay. So that's what it is. When you're doing this, Adiaram, I came. Ejerem, I went. Ejerem, Agaram, they're all the same thing, I went. Agaram, also, I went. If you say, eh, jerem, eh, jerem, agaram, they are all, I went, I went, okay? I went. And this is also, I went. It is the sentence. Just because you say Ejerem, Agaram, you can use the air. If you see the last one I did, you cannot use the air here. I highlighted it. You cannot use the air because pay attention to the vowel there. It's going to be wrong. And here, Ejerem, you cannot use a there. I, ha I hope I'm making any sense here. Uh, okay, uh, who wanted to ask a question? Go ahead. Do you have to do it? Oh, I'm actually, Master, it's a yen. I'm a 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 You get somebody's I'm a I'm a I get some pay attention. See, I gave I'm a I gave something to somebody. In here means something. Enyerem, you see that. If you say ana menye madinye, when you say enyerem madinye, that's past tense. When you say ana menye madinye, it means you're doing it now. You see what I'm saying? When you say aga menye madinye, do you see the difference? Yeah, Yes. So once you say enyerem, it means you gave. Yeah, he gave something. That's a good question, though, because I know many people are struggling uh, on this. That's why I wanted to revisit it again. So, Auntie, mm -hmm. um, okay. um, I have three questions. OK. Yeah. How do you conjugate the um nye for the the um second person? Okay. Now, can you say something in Igbo now in English? Go ahead. Cause that will help you understand it better. We did I did some conjugation here, but I just want go ahead, say something in English now. Which one? Nancy? Anything you want to say. Oh, I want to you, use your sentence to give you an example oh, how you're okay. going to put it. I gave my mom a spoon. 
Yeah. I gave my mom a spoon. Okay. See? Enyerem. It's just the same thing we are saying here. Enyerem. Mamam. Ngaji. You see that here, Lotem? Enyerem. So you have to start with enyerem because when you talk of Another thing uh, you guys need to pay attention is this. You can't put I here because when you look at the rest of the letters, they are all in the E group of vowels. You see what I'm saying? Uh -huh. So if you put A nyerem, no, E nyerem, now you can say E jerem nanke mamam. You can also say A garam nanke papam. You see that? So you can use both. Both of them are past tense. I gave any them. That's a past tense. Good question. Um, okay, okay, now there are some conjugations here. here. But if you have on your own, what are you do? I don't know what are you for Like here, uh, vowel harmony and verb conjugation here. Acharam, I want. Acharam, yiringri. Acharam, ezaolo. Acharam, Iguegu, Acharam, Iguegu, Acharam, Ibu, it's the dust thing. Anam, Agama, Begu. Auntie. Uh -huh, go ahead. When you want to say you want, um, what do you, how do you say that? If English? you want to say what? I want to type it because I want everybody to see what you're saying. What? You want. You want. Mm -hmm. Okay. You want. Each other. Now, remember, a. E you know, A is referring to you. Now you say, Echoro. Then you use the capital A. Ah, oh, come on. I want to make sure because I want to make sure you guys are seeing the examples when you're doing your own. You do it right. Echoro. Uh, Choro. Okay, let's see here. Uh, okay, so e Choro. E Choro means you want, because you want it. If you add it, Diana, e Choro, yeah. E Choro, just you want. E Choro, yeah, you want it. Okay, another question. <laughs> Nobody's asking me anything. Okay, so let, let me finish the other one. Um, here when you say achorum, you see that? So ah chorum. You can say achorum. So now you're supposed to know that this O's should be punctuated. Achorum. Achoro. Ani choro, uno choro, ha choro. You see, so now, ya, I have it. A chotaram, see that? A wataram ya, I understand, I understood. A wataram ya, na negation here. A shogem, I don't want. Enwegem ya, I don't have it. A wotagem ya, I didn't understand, or I don't understand it. See what I'm saying? So this is these are ways you conjugate words. But play with it. I want you guys to play with it. And the assignment is going to be to conjugate at least 10 verbs. Please conjugate it with vowel harmony. And send to me. I think I wrote it down here. Um, let me get it up because. This is something I wanted us to do today to read, but I'm going to send it to everybody who get their paragraph. So we won't be able to finish it today. So everybody will get their paragraph. Um, I'll send it to you guys. But right now, I want you to know that you will try to do some, do 10 Igbo vowel harmony and verb conjugation record 
just audio. You don't have to do video. Unless if you prefer to do video, fine. Do whatever you want to do. You can do only audio. You can do video. And, say, and send to the group. To the group platform, not to me. Send it there. I want everybody to see what you can do. 10. That would be your homework. Okay, so do 10 Igbo vowel harmony and verb conjugation record and send to the group platform. So do that. Just play with it. Play around with it. I don't want you to, I don't care if you're wrong. All right, okay, because I'll correct you. But I want you to send it to the group. Please, 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 guys. So uh, any other person with question? Uh, now, Oh, uh, chicken uh, scorpion. Yay! <laughs> Good. Oh, you Oh, Hi, So, scorpion, what? So, I'm going to type, so I'm going to make up something and send. It's gonna be fun. So, chine menem chotaku kifo iga korai ni zunabian. Akwanya u emaya wa kifo folk tale. Aha, one shot aku kifo. Okay, I want us to have fun next week. All right, guys. So you have questions, send to me, please. And I, I think I'm speaking too much English in this class. No more. No more. It's because I went over this vowel harmony. I want to make sure that on what going in and when so be what I am. I won't make an event so the term was the day has the term. One month so we name where I got my boggy. New go up. You go up with phone. Monagapa and Kawaragi Yofuma. On Anola. Okay. Mwano. According to news or so. Chukwe Mecca. If I need Chidera. Ah, there's it. I don't say happy again today. Um, I think a couple of them. Well, guys, keep safe, okay? And please stay away from the crowd so that I don't bring COVID home to mommy and daddy. Please, guys. <laughs> All right. Have fun. Bye. See you. Hello. Hi, Melo. All right.